Hi everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. This is the second video of the Azure Logic app integration in the Power App. If you haven't watched the first video, I'll provide the link in the description. Okay, and also help you to just recall the first whatever things we have covered in the first. So we are we were trying to implement this logic where the input is going from the Power App to the Power Automate, and from and Power Automate is actually calling our Azure Logic app and uh, some javascript is actually executing on the logic app side and then it sends some response back to the power automate and then power automate send the response to the power app okay so this is something we were trying and in the first video we have completed the up to the azure logic app okay so let's continue from there itself so here we are on the screen so let me just show you the logic app so we were this logic app we have created okay so if I just expand this, I can see the URL that can be used to call this logic app. And I have written some JavaScript that is used to find the factorial of the number. Although I understand that it's very common, but uh, the motive is to just show you how you can actually use the Java. You can, you can write the JavaScript and uh, use it in your logic apps to run. Okay. So, and I'm just passing the output of the JavaScript as a response. Okay. Now, it's time to come to the power app and then the power automate okay so here we need to just call the power automate from the power app so we'll create first power automate so we'll come to the add and create the new flow as this would be called from the power app so we need to set the trigger as the power app obviously okay okay now we use one variable to initialize some value and that value is nothing just my number that is coming from my power app whose factorial needs to find okay so ask in power app now i'm using the http connector call my as your logic app okay you can use the custom connector as well but uh, in order to just save my time i'm using this http connector because this is premium please keep in mind this, this is premium so you can use the uh, custom connector okay so here i need to pass the url so the url i can get from here expand this one and just copy this url come back paste this url here okay and in the body i need to pass the same that i've written for this okay so if you have watched this one so it was something like at the curly braces we were having number okay simple and now i need to pass the dynamic content so it is my number variable that is coming from the power app now the next step is to get the response like it sent the http request and the logic app would restart and logic app would execute the J javascript and later on it send the request back so we need to get that res res uh, response in the in one variable okay so i use one variable initialize one variable and use it as response so, and see response and again it is of type numeric integer and it's then it would be the dynamic and it get the body okay body is would be the output of this connector and the output of this connector is actually the output of the our azure logic app okay so we close this one and now we need to just send the output back to the power app so we use power app power app yes this one only uh it is of type number and the we are fact and it's now the variable is the response okay so we have done with the flow I'll give it a name call azure logic app tutorial okay this is my name i'm just using the save it okay so now once it gets saved you can see 
it start appearing inside our application so now on the click of this button what we do is simply first call the function call as a logic app dot run dot factor dot run and inside that we need to pass the input okay that input is nothing just the number whose factor needs to be fine so we need to pass this input text run okay input text okay it's like what is the name of this it's text input okay not input text it's text input one dot text well although it only accept the numeric values because because we have added the properties of this input control but still i pass value just to the data types okay now once that function would be called some output is coming i need to just store that output into some variable okay so i write everything in one set function and that set function would be the variable of fact okay and now after this i, I dot fact now I need this variable to be stored at this place. So I add fact. Okay. So now it's a time to just call. Try. Whether it is working fine or not. So let's try with five. What is the factor of the five? Uh, one into two, one into one, one, one into two, two, two into three, six, six into four, twenty-four, twenty-four into five, one twenty. Okay, so let's check. Find it has called okay okay so it hasn't given me any response okay it means some error is there now we need to just check where we find the error come to the logic app and just try to do make the duplicate node as a logic app demo i can see in the resource i can also get the logs that we also get in the power automate okay so in the logs i can see its status is succeeded let me just check whether it passed the right thing or not if i just expand this one i can see if i just execute this one so it has passed 120 okay so it means it has worked very well okay now we need to just check our power automate because power automate might given some problem okay so we just expand the power automate here i'm also showing you how to troubleshoot actually okay yeah this one we have there so we just see succeeded okay so it has succeeded then why did it not come in over the power app it's fact only okay let's check what is there everything works well still i haven't got any output okay we need to just check from the starting we pass the value 5 okay and we get the value 120 okay and in the response we are passing 20 okay okay everything is good now now in why in power app it is not showing the data is the same text input dot value everything works well we need to just check why it hasn't shown any value it's giving that the blank value is coming no it's not blank actually with the different well okay uh, i've just set it this logic apps okay and run dot value but it's got run just storing it into the fact variable factorial variable okay so i think it should work let's try with six now
again it hasn't shown me anything black value is coming but in power automate i can see everything is good it is giving the 720 and in fact it is coming as 720 only yes this is right okay just try it one more time on another button number let's try with some let's say five i'm just passing dot back set this one variable No, it should be inside only. Yes. Only we were there and let's try with A now. Call one more time. Okay, I think some issue is there. So let me just uh, try to troubleshoot and just continue okay guys let me just give me some second so everyone like i just check i was troubleshooting and i noticed that in the body the response that is sending to the power app it is sending 120 as a string type i'm not sure why because every place it is numeric only so what i made is like i simply use one type casting okay you know that type casting is a concept that is used to change the data type and use the init function init function and the variable okay let me just show you how i have used that so i used int and curly braces and now the, the response update okay and now just save it now coming back to the power app if i show you see we were using the same only and i need not to refresh the again okay let's try with five and if we search it give us output as 120 okay and the factorial of five is 20 only so that is all in the video like we have sent some input from the power up to the power automate and from the power automate we have sent that number to the azure logic app and in the azure logic app we find we execute some javascript and we get the response back to the power automate and then back to the power app so that's how we have done and yes that is all in the azure logic app for now okay so you can see like uh, this uh, the designer the things the aim of azure logic app is similar to that of power automate only things is there are there are some more features like that that we have actually used in our demo like we have used the inline execution of uh, javascript that is not in power automate for now okay so might be that is the there is this is the uh, difference or you can find many more difference uh, like uh, it completely depend on your exposure or your um, requirement that you try to implement okay you can also do the coding in the azure logic app in order to create your complete automations okay because in uh, power automate whenever you try to implement any type of automation you you can simply use some connectors and pass all these things but in azure logic app you can write your own code as well okay so yeah in, in logic app you can also see the uh, logs as well uh, their failures their uh, times everything you can see okay so that is all everyone thank you thank you for watching okay thank you everyone have a nice day bye bye